on him. Oh, wow. So I'd like to only have one of those five awards and stuff that we earned. I'd like to say congratulations again. Put us all that down for a lot of great news today. Well, that sounds fantastic, sir. All right, fantastic. Now, like any other promotion there, only two things we would like to see you do for us while you're in the process of claiming your award. One is, if you've received the award, take a picture of yourself with it, send that back to us so we can use it for promotional purposes. Okay. Now, in approximately 60 days, the company will be calling you back with shipping instructions on one of those five fabulous awards. Oh, wow. Now, if I can look at the other promotion, we have that you'll become a first-time customer of ours by trying one of our health and energy products, or we're using an attested and proven vitamin and mineral program called Universal Life. Now, Mike, do you currently take vitamins? Yes. It's fantastic. Mike, these are the finest vitamins on the American market today. Of course, that is my opinion. Uh, I do take them as well as my wife and children. Okay, and so my tablets today, they supply most of your daily requirements from A to Z. Now, these are very allergenic, and they are derived from all natural products. It also has what's called a special sustained cream release formula. Now, that ensures the maximum benefit throughout the day. Now, we have these boxed up in a 12-month supply. During the promotion, Mike, you're receiving that vitamin program for exactly $698. In the same package is going to be your major award certificate that officially guarantees one of the five major awards. Now, Mike, have you ever won a major award? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. I won the lottery here. Really? Yeah. Fabulous. Well, Mike, your good fortune is continuing. And I'll tell you what, if you get that Cadillac cooked to know, you better send me a bottle of champagne. Okay. Okay, it's not be a problem getting a picture of you or a loved one with the award, correct? Uh, there is something standing in my way. Okay. Uh, what would be the best time of day for us to deliver? Um, like, could you talk to the parochial Nimrod? What's that? Huh? What are you talking about, Mike? Well, that's the thing that's standing in my way. What's standing in your way? Parochial Nimrod. What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to handle what? The parochial Nimrod. <laughs> Mike, what are, what are you talking about? What, what, how to handle this from here on? You don't know how to handle a what? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, the thing of the Okay, Mike, what I need is the expiration date on the visa. Pardon me, Mike? Um, Zach. What is the expiration date on your visa? Uh, uh, 1092. 1092? Okay, now what I need, there's some, what's going on over there? I keep hearing, seems like you're fading out or something. That Nimrod. Your Nimrod? Yeah. Okay, what I need is the long number that begins with a four. Read that to me. I need a long number that begins with a four, Mike. Hello? Yeah. Okay, what I need is a long number that begins with a four. Mike, what is going on over there? It's the parochial ramrod. The parochial ramrod? What are you, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to tell you, sir, that that's going to pose a problem. That's the only problem is your parochial rimrod? Yeah. Are you taking medication, Mike? Uh, uh, am, I, am I still eligible to be a recipient of these five awards? Yes, yeah, so what I need is the long number that begins with the four. Long number that begins with the four.
for a guy like a boat and just feel you'd like to do a field parade, okay? If you can perform your track window over the phone again, I'd really love to see that. Alright? Yeah, shut the fuck up, Chico man. Unless you're seeing the foreign language, I'm not familiar with this, which is what it sounds like. I'm not familiar with it. It's what? like an advice. It's an oscilloscope oriented device. We don't sell oscilloscopes, you call me. Sorry about that. Uh, it wouldn't be a gaming garbage stream if I didn't dick something up first. Um, but what I was saying before is if I look like shit, it's not the lighting. It's because I actually look, in fact, like shit. Um, and uh, it's because I haven't been sleeping for like three days now. And uh, also, I've been spending hours of each day screaming into the microphone about horrible 3D Unity games. And it takes a mental toll on you, because I'm, I'm fucking stupid to begin with. And then I play all this shit, and somehow I, I become more stupid. It, it, it's just, it, I, I don't... Soon I'm just going to be incapable of speech. I'm going to be playing a game and I'm just going to be going, oh, mm, duh, uh, like that other guy who was streaming the other night. Uh, so we've got, okay, why is this not scrolling? My voice is scratchy. Yeah, because I was yelling for four hours yesterday. The stream was fucking over four hours. I was screaming at the computer and the day before that I was screaming about hogs. And then it, it takes a toll on my, on my precious vocal cords. I can only scream about not eating batteries and not showing you my feet so many times. It, 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 it wears me down and I'm going to die on a live stream. And nobody's going to watch it because I'm not popular enough to die on a live stream and have people like actually watch it. Like I, I could post... I'm going to kill myself on a live stream. That's, I don't know if that's going to trigger something. I know uh, I'll probably never get to stream again. But, okay, you want to see that? Fine, I'll show you the... I'm uh, not wearing pants again, by the way. I'm wearing underpants. I hope that's okay with YouTube that I uh, mentioned I was going to kill myself and I'm wearing underpants. You can... You can Kind of see it. Here's a fucking thousand dollar chair. It's got shit on it. Hold on. <sighs> yes, of course, I would store a light bulb on a chair. Yes, that's what I do. Here's a thousand dollar chair. Look. The thousand dollar chair. Now you've fucking seen it. We've reached peak internet by witnessing the thousand dollar chair that I got for a hundred bucks a thousand dollar one hundred dollar chair uh so anyways we've got uh five games that um I actually have not screened but I'm going to guess that they're bad uh, and this is the part I was going through, I was actually reading shit on YouTube about like membership and thank you. I, I can't read shit, not with your heart. Thank you. I was reading shit like about how to become a member. You and Frag, yeah, Frag stole the chair. And, um, but that was a chair that I got separately. I, 
I pushed a chair off the roof into a parking garage, which was fun. Um, but anyways, I, I was looking at uh, uh, YouTube, like they, they give you all these stupid tricks and just like they have videos They're like, hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to tell you how to get the most out of your YouTube channel, social media integration, and don't forget the end cards and promoting your project because your brand is you. That kind of shit. I can't watch that. I just read words. And I can barely understand most of them. But they said to, uh, uh, and, and they're all so happy when they do that. They're all so happy. They're just like, they're, nothing makes them happier than talking about how to increase viewer interaction and, and, and metrics. And I, 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 yeah, smash that like button shit. But anyways, I, I, um, there were like 33 people who were members, and I have no idea how much that was because I never fucked with anything in the control panel because I'm lazy, and, well, that's really about it. And then I'm just like, okay, well, I'll make a membership shit. And then it deleted all the people who were previously members in a member. is like they, you get like $3.99 a month or something like that. And so, like, my members went from, like, I think it was, like, 60-something to three. I'm going to, uh, hold on, I'm going to try to find the actual link. I don't know what it was. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, rejoin if you were a member because um, that, uh, <laughs> yeah, Twitch Prime, thank you very much. Uh, Jesus, I can't. I can't read dick on here. I got people from uh, 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 Twitch. Stompy Robots or Stompy he Robots and Ark Westbrook. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, my, my, my monitor over here, like, like the text in it, it is like two pixels. And so I have to lean in really close. And also, I'm getting old. I don't know if you guys, guys noticed that. You probably haven't. Because I, I'm so young at heart, you know? And also, I live, I live stream in my underpants. And also, I make my pop filter hit the microphone. Uh, I don't even remember where the fuck my... Where is it? Hold on. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it's going to be awesome. Dr. Possum, I'd watch a 30 second Coke commercial for you, but have some Bitcoin. Thank you. I still have not figured out what any of the jewels or the, 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 the crystals in Twitch mean. I know it's like like a thousand equals like two cents or something like that. And so like it says like uh, uh, Dr. Robotnik's dick just donated 15,000 crystals to you. And then I look up and it says like revenue, $2. But that's the, um, you know, that's the magic of uh, crystals. Where the hell? Where is it? Hold on. I'm going to find this shit and it's going to be awesome. I'm currently not finding it. It's, it's on the front page. Okay, hold on. Uh, back to we, um, thank you, phys the Physically channel. Uh, I do, in fact, have stairs in my house. But I don't usually go up them. Unless if I really need something. I've, I've got two sets of stairs in my house. I don't use any of them because, you know, now it's just me on, you know... It's just me here. So, like, uh, where the... But, oh, here it is. I found it. No, I didn't find it. It's somewhere. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Charles! Where have you been? I've been... Uh, I wanted to talk to you, Charles. Drop me a line sometime, you asshole. You like appear and we talk and then you go away for like ever. Charles. That's right, I'm talking to you, Charles. I'm trying to find a link right now. Okay, uh, uh, Charles, by the way. Pick one. 
Charles, you get to, uh, I know you go insane for a long while, Charles. You, you, you still stay insane when you talk to me, but I still want to talk to you because, you know, I don't, I don't judge people just because they're bad people. You know, I'm not going to uh, judge you just because, you know, you do things that I hate and I think are wrong. But uh, where did I? I don't even know where it is. Okay, there's a there's a fucking man, a mango scene. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you identified my background. There's a link somewhere. Is what I'm going to say. Uh, I, and I I I can't fucking find it. Somebody post. Somebody post a link to my own membership thing on fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, YouTube. I don't even know where it is. Uh, that's how... That, you know I'm a professional... God damn, I'm fucking Mike. You know I'm a professional streamer just because of all the professional things I do. Like, speak when the microphone is off. Not wear pants. Thank you, uh, R. Got a God and, a, and Garachi. Uh... Yeah, it did. I'm trying to see if Char. Am I gonna play robot, Ro Roblox? Somebody emailed me, and I, I appreciated what they were trying to do, but they're like, "You're," because I was bitching about being unpopular in the previous one, and um, he said, "You know, I know why you're unpopular. It's because you don't play popular video games," and I appreciated him telling me that but i know that and that, that was like part of the discussion is that, that i was saying yesterday is like i can't play popular video games because i fucking hate them there's a reason why i don't have fortnite installed because i fucking hate it there's a reason why i have PUBG installed that's because i fucking hate it and i fucking hate these games too but at least these are entertaining to me fortnite is not the people who play fortnite are not entertaining to me so I'm okay. I gotta I gotta squint here and try to figure out. Yeah, I like the game where I shoot bugs. EDF is not popular. I'll tell you that. Unfortunately, co-op a way out. Sure, we'll we'll do it. Did you pick a game, Charles? Because it, it, it it's going too fucking fast for me. More like Fortnite. Um, you're not right. The the name of the game is actually Fortnite. It's not Fortnite. So these are all the games that we have here, Charles. Uh, pick some shit here. We got a time to tell. We've got demo, which is so good it doesn't even need a fucking name. A time to tell. Okay. We got Mr. Hop's Playhouse Mystery Men. No, oh, I thought I said Mystery Men, and I was thinking of the movie with um, uh, Janine Garofalo and all those people. Thank you. Uh, 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 <laughs> Jesus, I'm just gonna have to squint here. Attila the Mac McCockney for the HJF six six six. I love the A H J F. I'm sure that's short for money in some other country. We're gonna go for a. Um... Hold on. Um... Uh, Mike is going to call in shortly. I'm just going to put my fucking phone on, speakerphone up to it. Okay, we're going to go for a time to tell right here. Uh, we're going to be protected. Because we have stairs in our house. Oh, a custom unity. A time to tell. Oh, boy. Well, looking. <sighs> looking really good here. <clears throat> F is interact. Oh, good. It's I actually just start here. This is I like light sources that cast more shadow than actual lights. Like you're, you're looking for a light here and you hang this goddamn uh, bug zapper lantern up there. And all you get is this giant 
uh, fucking uh, Japanese World War II logo. So I guess there's like a fighter plane in here somewhere. Of course, it can't be a Unity game without me not being able to see shit. Uh, let's check our inventory. We have all this, by the way. This is our inventory, guys. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's interact with things. Of course, let's interact with the bobblehead. Bobblehead. This is a bobblehead. The head. Oh, okay, great. Strange energy. That was my favorite song from the 80s. I think, uh, I think Tiffany sang Strange Energy. You've got strange energy, strange energy for me. You've got some cubes radiating a strange energy for me. I put them close to each other. Ooh. I'm gonna keep one further away. I can barely sleep with all those lights. Ooh, 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 yeah. You've got some strange energy. You've got some strange energy. That was Bob singing. I was wrong. I thought it was Tiffany. I just read the rest of the note. It was, in fact, Bob. So uh, something about strange energy, I, I, I got distracted. Oh, here is it. Are these the, um, these are the cubes? No, they, they don't have strange energy. This is, of course, the cube and uh, tire, tire room where you uh, get your cubes, you get your tires. And of course, you can't see shit. I'm trying really hard. I think I see a locker. Uh, you can't interact with anything. Oh, here's a mysterious cube. I thought it was the ones on the shelf, uh, but those are not mysterious. I know what they are. Mysterious cube, a weird looking cube. Uh, not really, not really sure what is strange about it. I mean, okay. Uh, veggie bad. That, I don't know who talks about this, but thank you very much. Uh, something is strange about this. I get the, I guess the fact that it's not a sphere makes it a mysterious cube. And it's warm to the touch with our invisible hands. Okay. Uh, we cannot put it in our inventory. We can just... Uh, yeah, I guess we did put it in our inventory. <laughs> we have strange energy and mysterious cube, and they're overlapping. So it's like strange and mysterious cube. We got two things here. So now we got our cube. Uh, and once we have the strange energy, of course we can. Uh, thank you, the Physically Channel. This low tax after dentistry. This is a low tax not wearing pants stream. And that's the only one I can kind of pull off. And also, yes, I know my voice sounds like shit. It's because I was screaming about hogs the other day. I mean, where else can you find another chip? What am I looking for here? Please. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hey, you know that song, Strange Energy? Rich? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mike. This is uh, Mike Nelson. Um, I, I was just wondering if you heard the if you ever heard the song Strange Energy by Tiffany. Um oh boy. I you know what? I'd be probably lying if I said that I haven't, but I have no memory of it. It was really good. Uh, do you want me to sing it to you? Because I just sang it. Actually I don't remember the words now, I'm sorry. Well then yes, I do want you to sing it. If you can't remember the words, I can, of course. I can remember the first first couple lines. I'll do that. Are you ready? Cuz this uh, is Hang on. Give me one second. Yeah. Uh, get prepared. Yes. Get get comfortable. Put on uh put on your singing slacks. All right. I just took off my pants. Go ahead. Okay. You and me both, brother. It goes like this. Your love is strange energy. Your love is strange energy to me. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. There you go. What do you think? 
Um, I think I'm impressed that you still have a, a you have a pretty impressive falsetto. That was my uh, actual that's... voice. I had a co-host whose voice was like that, and that's what happens when you play garbage games. Your voice eventually gets seven octaves higher. Huh. So if you were speaking norm, so now you're suppressing that voice. But right now, if you were speaking normally, you would. Uh, yeah, be and I. In that. And I'd be speaking just about strange energy by Tiffany. Can I just ask you? Could you just be yourself? Release yourself from this persona you put yourself in, and just go ahead and spend your time in falsetto singing the lyrics of Tiffany. Go ahead. No, no, no. Hold on, Mike. I got news for you. Are you ready? You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. Ah, uh, see, there's the falsetto. Maybe I am. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so so you want me to be in falsetto then? We're playing. Strange energy. See, now I got it in your head. Isn't that a good song that I slash Tiffany made in the eighties? I honestly have no memory of it. I what, what was Tiffany? She did a remake of. Um... Well, I think, I think we're now. alone now, yeah. Except it it wasn't about girls. It was about being alone with a boy. Ooh. The old flipping the flipping the script. Yeah, yeah. It was um, it, it, yeah. It, it was completely. You're just like, you expect her to, you know, refer to a girl, but then it's like a boy, and you're like, huh, what, what, what happened here? You're blown away. See, your voice is getting higher again. This is so good. We should always be talking about Tiffany at all times. I, you I, and I. I don't disagree with that, but I was screaming about hogs two days ago for like a good half hour. I was screaming about hogs and a jumping puzzle. Is this uh, the way you're going to make your retirement money, screaming <laughs> about hogs? Yeah, my uh, $8 per live stream. I, um, I'm putting that into a 401k and I'm uh, renaming it to a uh, hog fund. <laughs> I, just... Just, I think this is, I'm investing. I'm putting everything I have into it as well. Yeah, uh, you're gonna invest into my live stream or into a hog fund? Cause I can, I, 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 I can tell you a little bit about a hog fund, Mike. It's got a really great return. Uh, look, I'm trust, you are my manager. Here's all my money. I'm wiring it over to you right now, and you should have it. So go ahead and spend it how you see fit. Okay, I'm looking. There it is. No, no, actually, I was looking at a, a picture of an orb. That's, I, I can't, if you sent the orb, I can't cash it in. Oh, is that what I did? Oh, God, I always do that. Oh, I was. what I was trying to do was send you a picture of... Uh, Babu Frick from the new uh, Star Wars. Um, let me see if I can do that. Have you seen the new Star Wars? No. I haven't seen any of the Star Wars except the one with the Ewoks. No, uh, that was Star Wars 7, Rise of the Ewoks. That is actually the best one. I know it's a hot take, but that's yeah, that is. far the best one. I, I also yeah. like the one that started off with him getting inside the guts of his horse or whatever. Because it was cold, and he's just like, you know, I got to get warm. And he cuts off his horse, his space horse, and just climbs inside of it. Hey, idea. What if that were a hog? Huh? Oh, you're talking you... space hogs? Space hog climbing inside a space hog. That's really good. I wonder if Tiffany ever sang about space hogs. I think I'm a space hog. That was really I good. Like Harmonize with me. I, I think, think I'm a space, space hog. hog. Wait, wait, wait. I'll do like a, an octave a little lower, okay? You ready? Okay. All right, ready? Yeah, uh -huh. go high. I think I'm a space, space hog. hog. You still went high. That, well, that's your normal voice. I don't blame you. Yeah, I, I'm addicted to falsetto now because, I mean, I, I was trying to be true to myself like you commanded me to, and it's now it backfired on you. That's your actual voice. Yeah, well, it backfired on you when we are trying to sing about Space Hog. <laughs> so, you know, it's like the, the, the Wishmaster movies. You know, you have to be careful what you wish for because then you might have somebody's head actually physically go up their own ass. 
I don't know if you've seen Wishmaster, but that's what happens. I've seen Wishmaster 4, Rise of the Wishmaster, uh, but I haven't, no, I haven't seen any of the other ones. That one is actually Wishmaster 9, okay? The uh, uh, Wishmaster oh, 2, Wishmaster yeah. 2 was Wish, Wishmaster 10, uh, the first one was the fifth one, and the sixth one was the third one, and the, and I don't know the rest of the numbers. That's as, that's as much as I got right now. Well, it's pretty controversial to call the fifth one the first one because a lot of us think the sixth one was the eighth one. So, way to uh, way to wreck the whole timeline. Uh, I hate to um and you, but that's kind of how it goes with Wishmaster. No, yeah. Well, I, I'm not questioning you. I, I'm just saying that you're wrong is all I that wish I'm doing. I was a master. <laughs> I to be anyone wouldn't you wait wait wouldn't you want to be the master of wishes i i master the wishes my head's gonna go up my asshole soon <laughs> there we go we we can adapt anything to tiffany at this point oh where is she now what's she doing i don't know heroin probably <laughs> oh no she's doing great she is? Well, then why'd you ask me? Because she's right here with me. Hang on. I'm going to have her talk to you. Okay, thank you. Hey, hey, it's Tiffany. What questions do you have for me, Rich? Well, actually, I'm Tiffany. Who the hell are you? Wait a minute. What the hell are you talking about? This is absurd. I'm the real Tiffany. I'm the real... Die. No, Die. no. Die. I am the real Tiffany. Listen to me. Space I'm hog. I'm wishing you into the hog. I'm wishing you into the hog. Oh, God. I'm going into the hog. I'm melting. God damn you, real Tiffany. No. Wow, that was dramatic. Yeah. Well, you know me. Holy. You know me. You know how dramatic I am. Wow. So we killed fake Tiffany and real Tiffany's still here with me. And uh, she wishes you the best, by the way. Well, thank you very much. It was, it was nice for you to uh, for I you to come. I wish you the best now. I really hope that Rich has a real nice life now. That was really nice. Thank you, Tiffany. You're welcome. That was the best call ever. Well, thank you for calling, Tiffany. And um, I'll, I'll text you later about uh, some boys that I really think are hot. Don't text me ever, but I love you. Okay, bye. I love you. Bye-bye, Tiffany. Thank you. Bye. bye. Remember, Space Hog. Thank you. That was really nice. You guys just got to hear the real Tiffany, singer of uh, I Think We're Alone Now from the 80s, not the Tiffany from the Beatles. Uh, okay, the, let's get back to this now. We got a cube, we got a bobblehead, and we've got... As far as I know, nothing to do. Uh, also, I can't see shit. There's lockers, and I'm about to quit this fucking game because this is stupid as hell. Or are we supposed to interact with these cubes? No. Wait, wait yeah, there we go. Oh! Whoa, is that some strange energy? Oh! We did it! Wow! This is great. Now we've got a spool to keep our cable on. We got everything here. Let's check out this, this uh, something is not right paper. Let's see, something is not right. Something is not right. After experimenting with those cubes, my wife told me to go back to bed. <laughs> hey, wait, uh, I guess I gotta do the woman's voice. Hey, are you still Experimenting with those cubes! Go back to bed for fuck's sake! It's just like, just a moment, honey! I gotta experiment more with these cubes! I gotta see if one of them's actually a sphere! And she's like, no, they're cubes! He's like, but one could be a sphere, like a fucked up cube! And she's like, just go back to bed, 